you've always been kind of partially sighted since you remember, then that's all you remember. There's no operations, but it is pretty steady at the minute. But you can't really tell if it's going to deteriorate or not. Jason's visually impaired. Um, he's got Stargardt's disease. He competes in the T13 category in Paralympics. He's very quiet. He's um, very reserved. Um, but in saying that, he knows what he wants. Once Jason gets out onto the track, he's, uh, he's a competitor. I'm very proud to have two world records. I just hope that it can continue and just can continue to go well. The dream for 2012 would definitely to be run both Paralympics and Olympics and I don't see why it can't happen. Jason Smith is the fastest Paralympic sprinter of all time. He's the world champion in the 100 and 200 metres, and in the forthcoming years, the Irishman's aim is to make the dramatic transition from Paralympian to Olympian. To find out more about him, we travel to Derry in Northern Ireland, where the 20-year-old lives and trains. Well, I would have always done athletics at school. I would have always been quick, but I would never have really realised how quick I could be or was, and would never, never did realise till I came down and started training properly with Stephen. Jason's coach is Stephen Maguire. The pair first met in July 2004 when Jason turned up to the Templemore Sports Complex in Derry. His father brought him down to, to meet somebody from the local athletics club and um, I was fortunate enough that I was doing a session at the, at the far side of the track with some jumpers and we were preparing for national championships. And, um, and again, luckily enough, he met the right person when he came to the athletics club who sent him across to me to have a look to see what he was like sprinting. He turned up in a pair of rugby shorts, t-shirt, and uh, he joined in with one of the others. And um, they came back and said to me, actually, this wee guy's fast. You know that he's, he, can, he can run. In 2005, under Maguire's tutelage, Jason completed the sprint double at the Irish Schools Championships. It was shortly after that success that Maguire became aware of Jason's impaired vision. Being really honest, when he first joined my group, I had no idea of, uh, of his disability at all. Um, but it was always something that struck me when we were doing any of the longer reps and training. He never let anything out. He always followed in behind the others. And uh, even though he was beginning to become as quick as they were, if not quicker, um, but he always seemed to follow in behind. And then in speaking to his father, actually, his father told me about his visual impairment. And between the two of us, we did a wee bit of research and then realised that um, Jason could compete in Paralympics. Jason suffers from Stargardt's disease, a degenerative genetic eye condition which has left the young sprinter with limited peripheral sight. He was diagnosed with it at the age of nine and has had to make a number of adjustments in his life ever since. Um, it kind of affects the central vision and the central visions for what use your sight for seeing far, things further away and focusing on things. And that's what's affected, but I'm um, trying to describe what it's like. Uh, it's very hard to do and I don't really know what way to describe it for you. In Paralympic competition, blindness is defined in three different categories. No usable vision, low vision and visually impaired. Jason competes in the last of these categories. However, his decision to race in Paralympic competitions wasn't straightforward. I think initially he was a wee bit, um, he was a wee bit reticent. It was something obviously that interested him, but it was also something that it was a big step for him because he was putting himself out there. He was admitting his, you know, they had a disability. As I say, when he came into our training group, none of us knew that uh, he had a visual impairment. So that was a big step for him just around for him to become more aware that he was stepping into um, you know, Paralympic competition and he would be seen by some people as a disabled athlete. Um, but you know, thankfully by most people in athletics is a very, very good athlete. You know, the disability didn't come into it. Jason's first major Paralympic competition was the 2005 European Championships, at which he won gold in the 100 and 200 metres, both in world record times. 
At the Paralympic World Champs a year later, he claimed the sprint double again, also in record times. The 20-year-old has since lowered his world records to 10.61 for the 100 and 21.44 for the 200. His times make him the second-ranked able-bodied sprinter in Ireland. What was it? I think every area has improved a lot. Technically, it's probably a, a huge improvement from when I first started. Um, even everything, speed, a lot and quicker, speed endurance, um, strength. Everything's improved and is continuing to improve. So improve. So it's it's all good. Since leaving school at 18, Jason has committed himself to athletics full-time. He receives financial support from the Irish Sports Council and has the luxury of having Stephen as his full-time personal coach. Maguire had been the director of coaching for Athletics Ireland, but he left this post to work with Jason. His salary is paid by an American computer software company, of which Jason's uncle is a director. With a strong team around him, things are looking good ahead of September's Beijing Paralympics. Goals are obviously two, two medals. Um, you know, and we'll not sort of, you will not duck that question, you know. Uh, what colour the medals be? Um, I don't know. You know, it's, it's, all as I'll say, to, you know, if somebody beats Jason, they're a very, very good athlete. Following Beijing, Maguire's aim is to turn his young charge into a quarter miler, and he believes that by London 2012, Jason will join a very exclusive club of athletes who have competed in both the Paralympics and Olympics. From Beijing, you know, we're going to sit down and plan out the next four years. He's, he's mainstream athletics, he's already competed in the World Juniors over 100 metres. He's really dipped his toes into 200s. Um, but I think he'll eventually become a 200, 400 metre runner um, and 400 metres being in mainstream at hopefully London 2012. I would say I'm excited but at the same time I don't want to, I don't like to think about it because there's a long, it's a long time away and there's a lot of training that needs to be done before that and keeping fit and fully healthy. Jason Smith, this remarkable young man's story looks set to run and run.